How you been? Good. How's life in New York? Eh. <laughs> right. George, you look stunning. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Ah, uh, amazing. What do you think of what I'm wearing? It's good. First of all, you know this wig. You know the first person. <laughs> Do you know the first person person's wig? I was going to systematically ignore it the entire time I'm sitting with you because I don't want to talk about it. I have something you can't ignore. What? I have something you can't <laughs> ignore. Thorgy, why did I waste my time putting on what? this? Oh. Oh. This. Oh. Oh. Yes, honey. Ew. Yes. Ew. Guess who's back in the house? The iconic ew, ew. robot look. Tell me this is the same one. It's, it's not. I, I, was gonna I had say. to buy a new one. It is. Girl, this one's not even lasting. This is my first time working. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's me, Bob the Drag Queen. This is The Pit Stop, and we are reviewing the finale episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 7. This queen is truly. Listen, today's queen is truly a <laughs> Brooklyn legend a fashion clown, and she truly is my oldest drag friend, and I haven't known her that long. The one and only Miss Thorgy Thor. Yes! Da -da -da, da -da -da. Wait, so who, you said oldest drag friend, which is true. Yeah. Am I older than you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, obviously. I'm 26. I'm 24. You had to think about that lie. You had to think about that lie. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh, mm, mm. Anyway, it's a pleasure being here. Cheers. Are you still on your are you are you still like on your sobriety journey like Jinx? Yes. And I'm working really hard at it. This is ridiculous. But I'm happy to be here. Before I move on, do you have any any last comments about my outfit? Tudor boot. I mean, see, listen, it's definitely a shoot. Wait, is shoot a good thing? Shoot is a is the best thing. What's the worst thing? There has to be like a moot. Well, you, you must be talking about some, someone else's outfit. <laughs> Actually, I gotta say, I do like this hair now. Now that I'm like staring at you, I'm like, okay. I'm telling you, it grows on you. Now I'm like, okay, but I have to just do this. It's like yeasty bread, it grows on you. Yeah. It grows on you, honey. Yeasty bread, what yeah, a reference. Yeast, yeast rises, it grows, it literally grows. The yeast in the, the yeast makes it grow. Wow. Do you not, do you, do you wait, do you not make bread, you no, idiot? I do. Oh, I didn't tell you, you I'm actually opening up my new restaurant, it's called <laughs> now I have to take a sip because I picked it up. Yeah, exactly. You have to. Yeah, take a little. Just take the edge off. Mm, that's just. Oof, Some that's people good. drink to have fun. I drink to. Just stop shaking. There it is. All right. Can you believe okay. there's finally an all winter season? Are no. you living? I love how like every single queen got every single episode to showcase their looks, yeah. their talent, their humor, and I think that's at the end when they're all talking about it and they're like, you know what? I really, I think it was Raja who said these are my sisters. I really, when you spend a long time with somebody, you're like, Ugh, I want to get away from them. Mm -hmm. And they're like, I actually love these girls, and I think it's because they spent so much time yeah. filming this competition show. It's a lot. There is a bond you have when you get to the end of the season. Wow! <laughs> wow! And that's why I wasn't gonna come here and I have to leave. <laughs> no, there, no, there is one that you Very have. nasty. <laughs> Very, and, and looking like this, give a comment like that. <laughs> this is also why I drink. You all gagging, honey? I mean, oh, I love um, you so much! No, but I do, okay. I do love, I, I thought I would hate no eliminations. I'm very happy. Yeah. Very, very happy. When the season started, who did you predict would be the winner? Like, Jinx. Jinx, from the, from the, from the go, from yeah. the get. I was actually sitting with a couple of my friends that are very big, like, drag race, crazy, fanatic people, and I kept my mouth shut, and I was like, what do you guys think? But I said right away, I was like, Jinx is just out the gate. Like, what did your friends say? They called Monet for the win. Mm. Two of them actually said Monet for the win, and another one said Raja for the win. Mm. Which, by the way, were all kind of like jumbled around, and I kept yeah. thinking in my mind. But Jinx, I don't know, I think I've just worked with Jinx so much that I'm like, she's like, lovely. She's, she's phenomenally she's smart talented. and like, works really hard, and is always just an outsider. She's weird, you know what I mean? She's like, I don't know, I just like her, and I've watched her career over so many years. We are on the last episode, which is kind of gagging me. Yeah. It's, it's the end of a season that some of us literally thought would never happen. <laughs> Last week, they did the Drag Race Gives Back variety show. How do you feel about them doing the variety show at the end as opposed to, because on your season. Right away. Episode one. Yeah, on the All-Stars, it was like, and you have to show us what you can do. It was like, you were still in the parking lot. Which and they were like, <laughs> bitch, 
they give me the play call, and they're like, violin. you perform right now, there's a camera in your house. And I'm like, I kind of love this because I like performing. I, that mm. is what I do. I'm like, give me a microphone, give me a stage. I love an audience. I can really perform. But I like that it set people aside like, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Now that it's all stars, all winners, they're all talented. I think also they're doing a talent show every single time, every right? episode. Every time they're on the screen, it's a talent show because everyone at home is like judging, watching, and like, you have to be on, funny. Your personality shows through. I mean, you're constantly in yeah. a talent competition, so. Do you have any memories from the All Stars 3 variety show? <laughs> not getting what? eliminated that episode. That was good. You did not. No, I look good. They were like, bring one violin. I played live, but they were like, if you have one recorded, it would just be easier to sync up there. And I'm like, great. So when I'm standing in front of the judges and they're like, did you actually play that? Did they say that to you? No, but I was just thinking oh. that. I was like, no, I can actually play. I'm not like faking this. So I played live and did a one-handed cartwheel and those are my memories of the whole show. No. So in the variety show, Monet Exchange and Shea Coulee ended up winning. Was that shocking to you? No, they're both incredibly talented. Exactly. And listen, I, we've known Monet for... I've known Monet for probably 10, 11 years now. And when I met her and she was coming around like performing in New York, she was like, I'm an opera major. I'm an opera singer. I'm like, you need to sing. And she did it and the best competition possible. So going into the variety show, Shea Coulee has one star. Count them one. She is in eighth place out Losing. of eight people. <laughs> the variety show ends. Bitch is now tied for second. Well deserved. She has just been looking amazing every single episode. Imagine if Jinx would have won and had seven stars. That would have been a while. Everyone would have been like, all right, well. Woo! Woo! I would have just been like, Jinx is going to win. Yeah! Now, the top four are Shea Coule, Monet Exchange, Jinx Monsoon, and Trinity the Tuck. Yeah. Is this the top four you would have imagined? I really, if I can be honest, I really wish Raja was up there in the top four. But, but who, now let's get shady, who are we kicking out? Trinity. That was no hesitation. Uh, I love Trinity, it was just like. You wanna look in the camera and tell Trinity why you don't want her in Trinity the top four? Trinity should not be on that show to begin with and certainly shouldn't have been the top four. And I don't like her. There you have it. Um, you know, the reason why Trinity is in the top okay, is because that's what I was gonna say. Okay. Monet Exchange pulled her in. Yes, and you said who would I have had in the top four, but it made sense completely when Monet was like, are packed. That's what we did. We made this alliance, which by the way, I just want to say that they stole that whole idea. I am open to me. alliances. And I'm still open to alliances. And then they took it and ran with it. And nobody's going to remember me at all that I ever said it. We'll, re we'll remember you. You won't remember filming this, but we will remember you. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. Yes, I will. <laughs> you got it. So I think that Trinity made a very smart decision. This, this yeah. alliance, and her actions like buddy buddy with everyone have really benefited her. Girl, I tried to start those alliances in All Stars three right from the get go because I was like, this episode is one, day one, day one in the parking lot, in the parking lot. But I, as soon as I walked in, I was like, this has got to be good. And I didn't even care who wanted to be an alliance. I think just form one and be powerful and like, you know what I mean? I asked yeah. everyone and nobody was really interested. But behind my back, all the other girls were in the alliance. They just didn't want me in the alliance. So how do you feel about NATO? Wow. Who Let's alliances? Talk about it. <laughs> no, I know. I thought you loved the lions. But nobody wanted to play with me, and I was like, this sucks. So, no official statement on, on NATO? <laughs> no, no, and stop. <laughs> You're horrible. <sighs> okay, we found out the four queens who are not in the top four are still gonna be competing for $50,000, and the title of Queen of She Done Already Done Had Hers is. What do you think about that? That's really cool, actually. Right? I like that they kept them. Everyone got to perform many times. It was just really cool. And I was like, this was the way to do this show. This was a cool season. Yeah. Right? I mean, they eliminated six girls in one episode. <laughs> yes, the really, it's like this quick. RuPaul said, I don't want to let go of anyone until I let go of you all. <laughs> Everyone goes home. <laughs> all right, who do you think is the most versatile out of the She Didn't Already Had Hers as a group? There's Shada, okay, the Raja, group. Evie, and Vivian. Versatile? Yeah, and they're in their lip sync performances. Evie? Evie does some funny stuff. Yeah. She does gymnastics. She's really like very bendy. Crazy, creepy. She can contort her body. She's fun to watch. You never know where she's gonna bend. She's a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll. Yeah. But then we got Viv, who is like also a comedian. Yeah, love. Beautiful. Yeah, gal. In command of her body. She's a cool chick. And then there's Raja, who's just brilliant. In and so beautiful. So many ways, yeah. And walks like a like she's the supermodel of drag race, she right? She really is. And Jada is just amazing. Yes, it's a beauty. Oh, she can really perform. 
And her body is right, isn't it? Yeah. Her skinny little weird, every time she walks, I'm like, yeah. Where's the flaw? I always say that. With Jada, I go, where is the flaw? Yeah. That girl can win a season of Drag Race. Thank you. Yeah. She did. She did. She did win a season. You're right. Now, who do you think is the most versatile in the top four? All right, we got Trin. Trinity, Jinx, Monet, Monet and Shay. Jinx and Shay. I mean, how, this is a, these are a good top four. This is the, this is a top, this is a good cast, the this whole is, cast. I mean, everyone's good. See, this is what's so good about the way this season worked, is that it showcases every girl, every mm -hmm. talent, and all the looks that we got to see. But you asked versatile, right? In top four? Yeah, who's the most versatile? I was gonna ask you, who do you think? Monet Exchange. <laughs> no, Monet Exchange, she, yeah. I mean, she can sing opera. Yeah. So she could even lip sync that. Monet can do ballads. Yeah. Monet can do splits. Improv. Monet can do improv. Monet can be very funny. Monet can be campy. Rue enters, <laughs> then we get a final mini challenge of the season. The queens have to get in a quick drag and do a soul train line. These were the weirdest outfits I've seen, I think, in the history of Drag Race. Mm -hmm. Who was the weirdest? Monet had a weird one on. With no makeup. Oh, and her ass was out. They were kind but, of chaps, but then bell bottoms? Yeah, they were bell bottoms. And then like a crop? Money's dress was incomparable. Kind of like a... No. <laughs> what is happening? You don't get it. No, I thought you were stroking out. The <laughs> dress is incomparable. Kind of like a... Because <laughs> you can't compare it to anything. Because it's that bad? <laughs> it's indescribable. It's like a... No. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Nothing. What do you think of Quick Drag? I kind of love it. I would love to do it again. If I ever went back or whatever, I would love to get that challenge again. Also, how are like certain girls able to literally pull a full face on? And a full out, like Jada, when she went up there, I'm like, right? Great. I also wouldn't, but I wouldn't, I mean, we, on our season, we, we didn't try to get do full drag in our no. mini challenges. I put on some eyebrows. I, I usually, in all of our Quick Drags, I almost always wore the clothes I was wearing that day. But you Almost know, every time. But sometimes when you're working, like you you do arrive late, right? Your flight is there. You're like, I can do this in 20 minutes. Oh, I've, get, I've had. You can get it done. Sunglasses yeah, yeah. and some lip gloss. Yeah, I've definitely, I've done it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Did you enjoy watching the Soul Train line? I did actually. It, it reminded me of the Cha Cha Challenge we did. Yeah. And also everyone's having fun. It, it, it really felt like the last day at camp. You know, like the, like the end of a and movie. And that's what I was gonna say about Trinity. Is like every single time on the camera during this whole season. I was like, this girl's having a good time. Mm -hmm. Right? I live. Yeah, she was just, She was always just like happy to be there and like looking great in front of the judges. And I was like, that's what, I don't know, it was the spirit of the show for me. So do you think that the other girls look miserable? Yeah. Let's talk about the final runway of the season. <laughs> the final runway of the season is grand finale eleganza extravaganza. Let's talk about these looks. First of all, RuPaul, I love this outfit. I love this outfit. It's kind of great. Also, the color of the hair, like that yellowy blonde. And the so movement. good. She looks like a drink. It's very cool. Let's look at these outfits from these girls. Jada Essence Hall, this beaded, crystal, white, pearlescent, <sighs> dripping. This dress has to be at least 30 pounds. 30 pounds, it's a whole suitcase, yeah. She probably made this. Probably. Oh, and she looks absolutely stunning. Hate her. Completely, completely stunning. Good job, girl. Let's talk about Raja. Oh, man. Okay, and this is when Raja is like an artist. Is like, they panned up and then they showed her makeup. And I was like, you literally look like a anime character that was drawn yeah. to actually be that like exotic bird from like another dimension. She's just stunning. Raja's literally one of the fiercest drag queens My favorite in the world. thing about this outfit were her claws. Yeah, I, I, I'll say it before I say it again. A lot of girls reference, Raja is the reference. Yes. Let's talk about the Vivian. The entire bottom is like this ostrich feather, which looks incredibly I know. expensive. I know, Every I do feather. wish there was a little bit more going on up top. Yeah, but I will say she the perfect color hair and shape yes. for this dress. Yes. And her what décolletage, is that what you call this? Décolletage. It's yeah. beautiful. It's like really beautiful. Her skin looked lovely and she looks stunning in black. She, she does. Yeah, she looks really good. Who doesn't look good in black? You know? <laughs> Can't think of anyone. <laughs> so smart. Anyone. Let's talk about Evie Oddly. She's this big like moving cake on casters. I it's so campy. Like she's like, and I'm popping out of a cake. And, and her, I was head like, is, her head is frosting. Amazing. It's so Evie. Yeah. I, I really thought it was gonna open up or something. Oh. 
God. And then it was going to be like a whole cast of it's a small small world after what all. What if you open it like, up yeah. and they're all cupcakes inside? Or and then, rabbits. You know what I mean? Willow Pill. Comes out like, and angle. And she's like. <laughs> um, let's talk about Jinx Monsoon. She looks good. Jinx has had some very strong runways this yes, season. Yes, 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 yes. This yes. is not one of my favorites from her. It looked a cosplay. Yeah, a little, little Ren like Fair. The, like the armor, armor. But with isn't Jinx kind of Ren Fair? That's she's what I'm queen, saying. She's, she's a, a queen witch. of the Ren Fair. Exactly. I will say uh, my favorite part was the braided hair. Mm -hmm. And then she had this thing going on the back. Her hair was like the coolest thing with the braids coming down. I was like, I love the hair. Yeah, this hair does look very nice. Monet Exchange looks so, so good. I, I love it. It was cool. It and looks, you know what? You're going to give a nude illusion. It's like her body looked right. This braids look like a noodle. She looked good. Yeah. What do you think about the piercings and stuff? There was one point where, it, where the shadow gave her like a John Waters. It, a little bit. A the little shadow bit. did give her like a John Waters mustache. Yeah. But you can't control what light's going to hit you from one exactly. angle. You know what I mean? But she looked absolutely stunning. I always love that. Let's talk about Shea Coulee, who is in this, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a tiered gown. I, I, again, I love this. Shea's idea of what colors look good on her body and shapes is just, I think, so far ahead of everyone else. She's always right, right? And I'm like, yes, 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 Shea. I mean, it's no, um... It's no, it's no Amazon.com. It's no Amazon. Robotic suit or anything. Are you, are you wearing the Bezos cat suit? Yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, she, I mean, she looks nice. She really gets her 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 concept of color theory. Amazing, brilliant winner. Let's go on to Trinity the Tuck, who had crystallized. Yeah, and is ready for the runway, bitch. She looks great as well. Again, um, stunning. It's amazing. Yeah, and also very Trinity, sparkly, Vegasy, and showing lots of body and ass. Mm -hmm. I, I have nothing bad to say about anyone. Except yeah. um, they all look good. <laughs> except Jinx. Oh. Um. So, what was your favorite look? All right, if I had to pick a top two. One. We're gonna pick one, we're gonna say it at the same time. Ooh, okay. We're gonna lock eyes. Okay. You have yours? On three. One, two, three. Raja. Shay. Shay? Raja was number two for mm. me. Now, while the judges are critiquing their looks, it gets very emotional. RuPaul shares some very strong emotions. Monet is also very, very moved. And I see, I, I really, really feel the love. Everyone's like crying. <laughs> RuPaul even started crying. I was crying. The camera was shaking because someone was, he because Sarge, I heard that. Sarge was crying. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Monet at the end because she, she really like let it out. Yeah. And you could tell this was genuine emotion, not when Trinity faked crying. It was like Monet really cared and she really was like moved and she was speaking for like, I guess our generation. Yeah, the, I all, felt that. I was like, because we've been friends for so long mm -hmm. that I'm like, we have been through so much similar. You know what I mean? And I always say this: I am a pre-YouTube, pre-Facebook, pre-Instagram queen. I don't like you're prehistoric. See, I was trying to say something nice. <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Pre-electricity, pre-running water. Shut up. Now we get a moment that I always love. What? RuPaul gives us a number, honey. Oh yes! She, I love RuPaul performing. I know you. You were like, I like you. Like really lose your mind. I just live. It's just like I, I live. I love it. They want to see you. They want to see you go off. You know, I am in business. Come, let's. Get, that is so amazing to me. That is looking sickening. like that. I just love seeing her. She did her song "Smile," which I really yeah. appreciate. I just, it was great. All right, Thor, you're time for the lip sync smackdown, honey, all right? All right. First off, the girl's competing for $50,000 in the crown of she done already and had hers is. So who would you not want to lip sync against? Who would you be like, I'm not trying to go up against this bitch? In those four. Yeah. The Vivian. Why the Vivian? I don't know. There's something about her, like, I just really feel like she can hold her own. Mm. She's a good actress and a good mover. I mean, they all are, but I just feel like I, that was, I would be like, she would give me a run for my money, I think. I'm going to keep it simple and say Evie Oddly. I know. I've seen that. Evie Oddly do the most... I know. I saw her in the Vegas show. She falls from the sky. Yeah. Maybe I could change my answer to E.B. I would never want to lip That's like scary. Ever. I'd be like In a million years I wouldn't want to lip She's absolutely insane. Yes, I agree. The infamous Will comes out with all their faces on it. It lands on the Vivian. She goes against E.B. Yodley and they're lip syncing to Push It by Salt and Pepper. I love that song. Dun dun bum bum. Boom, 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 boom. What did you think of the lip sync? It was great. When Evie did that front walkover, I was like, it's a wrap. Yes. 
It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. But they had a good time. Also, that with all the beats and stuff, it gives you so much to work with. Oh yeah. But I was like, I think Evie's got this. Yeah. You know, I was like, Evie's got this. She was just doing it all the Evie most. Evie did some like, great so stuff. Good. Yeah. So Evie wins the lip sync. Do you agree? Yeah. And Viv is the first girl to be eliminated from <sighs> RuPaul's Drag Race All Star Seven All After Winner After twelve season. episodes. What are your thoughts? Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like you already won. They all won by getting this opportunity to showcase twelve episodes. What are your thoughts about the Vivian? I, I just love her. And you know what? I haven't had a tons of time, I don't know about you, with Vivian, like hanging out. I've done a tour with her. I haven't had that chance, but we did RuPaul's Drag Con in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And we had like a half hour backstage where we were just like talking and I was like, I love you. She's really funny. Just cool. She's real. She's very good yeah. at makeup. It's insane. Yeah. So everyone gets this cool scepter. I really love the reverence that RuPaul is giving all of these girls. Yeah. It really, bitch, I'm feeling the love and yeah. I'm not even on the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cool. But it's cool. cool, it's like you get to leave with this and feel like I am a true winner, I'm a power thing. But I just want to remind everyone that I still haven't gotten my statue and I would like that. So up next, Jada versus Raja, lip syncing to Let's Hear It For The Boy. Do you love this song? I, I was singing every lyric when I was watching this. And what do you think of this lip sync? This one was pretty easy. It could have gone either way. Oh yeah. I don't think either one of them really wrecked the other one. But I also think that at this point, we're really taking into account everything you've done over the season. So they're both kind of even. And then looking at them both, I would have probably chosen Raja too, based on her performance throughout the season. Yes, but you can tell them they're having a blast. Right? They look amazing, and they're just giving it. Also, I want Raja's whole outfit again. Looks good. I mean, Raja just always looks good. Always. Good. But they're having a blast, and uh, I really was like rooting for both of them. Right. So Raja ends up winning. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, either one of them could have won. I'm like, but yeah. I do believe in taking into account once it's that close. Let's look at your body of work. Yeah. And then Jada gets her scepter. What do you think about Jada? Any, any any thoughts or memories of Jada? Look over there. Look over there. No, I don't know Jada that well, but she's a really beautiful queen. I've never met a single person who has ever, ever had anything bad to say about Jada. Absolutely. And that's the that, I'm trying. That's the only queen I know like that. Yep. I, I'm trying to think. I don't know a person who has a single bad thing to say about her. How about me? You can say something bad about her if you want. No. <laughs> Yeah, that's tough. No, like, I'm saying, I can say something bad I about I said, her. how about me? Like, nobody says anything negative about me, ever. So let's go on to the final lip sync for the, for the shit out of her. You know, you had your, your, your intense rivalry with that one queen. Monet, I hate her. The other one, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I hate her too. The other queen, no, the other one. Oh my God. There's so many, so many right now. So Raja wins, and she's now going to battle against Evie later on. Let's skip over to the queen of all queens and the prize for $200,000. We have Shay, Monet, Jinx, and Trinity. Who from this group would you not want to lip sync against? Ooh, okay. You do not want to go against this girl. Monet. I would say Monet as well. Now, the wheel spins, lands on Jinx Monsoon, and she lip syncs against Shay Coulee, and the song they're lip syncing to is Judas by Lady Gaga. Yes. What do you think of the lip sync? Shay was doing like so much choreography the whole time. I was like, whoa, she did the whole video. I think what held Shay back was that she was so focused on doing the original choreography. But the uh, choreography, if you're not like a super Lady Gaga stan, you might yeah. not recognize yeah. it. And you're like, she's just dancing. And that choreography really works when there's people behind you doing the dance with you. And it's in a group. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that Jinx had a really good interpretation. Yes. I will say this. It was like the song started and she goes, and reveal. Yeah, and she, I was like, hey, wait, like, also, wait, wait a second. Like, but also, just, like, what are you revealing to? Bra. Bitch, you're wearing panties. Of course it. Bitch, why did you just show us your underwear? And when Shay did it, it was like this whole bodysuit of like. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's. But I did love the coat thing she kept doing. And she the kept spin. using it, using it. So. Yeah. Okay, good. Both good and both things where I was like, all right. So. You could have gone either way. Jinx Munson is of winning. What do you think about that? Good. I mean, yes. Yeah. I, I said this. I thought Jinx, right when the show started, I thought Jinx was good. Jinx was my winner. Mm -hmm. So Shay gets her scepter. Do you have any thoughts or memories from working with Shay kool or oh, her God, work on the season? It. That's another one. You said something about Jada as like, I don't know anybody who can say something negative. Every time I've worked with Shay, she is very professional. Mm -hmm. She's very improv, like, yes and. I would be doing something stupid backstage and she would join right in and be like, mm -hmm. where are we running to? I'm like, I like you. You're great. She's brilliant. She's very, very good. Very cool. She's very talented. She is really um, a pillar of the Chicago drag scene. She's absolutely amazing. Congratulations, cool. Shay, on Cheers, having Shay. such an amazing run. Finally, we have Monet Exchange versus Trinity the Tuck. 
and it is so wet by Pink. Do you like that song? Um, I'm not really like a huge Pink fan. Drag Pink. Drag her. I you want to say anything to Pink personally? I really just don't like her. She's a bad seed on this earth. You can cut that out, right? <laughs> Please not. <laughs> Finally, it's the battle between Monet and Trinity the Tough, and they are lip syncing to So oh, What uh, by Pink. What do you think of this song? Love Pink. <laughs> She is my favorite. What do you think of the lip sync? Okay, so the lip sync that they're doing is like amazing because it's also kind of fun to watch the two of them because they won together and mm -hmm. one of them's going home. So they set that up and I was like, this is kind of great. This is drama. This is kind of years good. in the making. I mean, this is still going, right? And just watching that, I like had energy. I was like, this yeah. is gonna be great because it's like watching this like famous rivalry. It was just such a cool thing to watch. It was really cool. They were pretty even. Monet had one ill-timed split, and I think uh, Trinity- oh, came out of nowhere with And no I think beat. Trinity was a little un in moments being like, what's going on here? I will say this. I have no idea what Trinity was wearing. I don't know where it's to start. I don't know where the outfit started. I don't know where- Like an elf? It was, there were shoulder pads. Yeah. But they were on a cloak. And then it was a cape But they were cloak. made of plastic. And they were feathers. It was wild. Which I kind of loved, because I was like, I don't get at all what was going on here, but I kind of was like, all right. It was, <laughs> if it was a fruit, it'd be bananas. It was crazy. Do you know what she was doing when she got ready? She was probably like, so what? <laughs> I'll wear this. Literally. Oh, give me the so what. Someone said, Trina the outfit doesn't make sense. She goes, so what? Na 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 na. Elf. Na 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 na. Literally. Yeah. I think when I did um, do a little better than, she, than her, and again, at this point, body of work. Yes. So Monet wins, what do, you what do you think of this decision? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah. She was having a good old time. And honestly, I'm just gonna be honest, I literally, I could not get past what Trinity was wearing. Trinity gets presented with her scepter. Any thoughts about Trinity, your work with her? I love Trinity. Knowing her over the years, anything? I think Trinity is an ace. I get along with her so well, I think, because we're so opposite. I'm not competing in like the same we're just, our drag is so different mm -hmm. that I think we look at each other and we're like, hey, you wanna do something together? Like, I love it. She's like naked, gorgeous, Vegas, Swarovski crystal, like, and she was there to have a good time and you, I could read it on her face every scene during this entire All-Star season. I was like, that girl is there to have a good time. She was enjoying herself and she played a very great social game. She's very respected amongst tons of drag queens and um, congratulations to Trinity. Work, Mary. Yeah. Work. All right, the top two queens are Mo, Nay, Exchange. Your girl, how do you feel about that? I'm very proud of one. I mean, how are you not? That is like your girl. She deserves to be in the top two. That's cool. Absolutely. That's your friend. That's our friend. Yeah. And then okay. we have Jinx Monsoon, who is my drag sister. We have the same drag yeah. mom, Peaches Christ. She is one of the most talented winners of Drag Race ever. Oh, yeah. She has proven that she's going around the world with her shows. Yep. Music, great music videos. Brilliant. She's very, very good. Talent, talent, so the, talent. When you and your friend are talking, this is literally the top two y'all predicted. Yeah. yeah. Full T, when Monet was getting ready, I said the only person you have to watch out for is Jinx. Ooh, I love it. And now here we are. And here we are, Monet and Jinx. You called it. We called it. I love it. Now, okay. we finally get to see the She's in R rated and had hers has come back. And someone's going to win $50,000. <laughs> <laughs> now it is Raja versus Evie Oddly lip syncing to Sisters to Doing It for Themselves by the Eurythmics and Aretha Franklin. Great song immediately. Love that song. That's a drag classic. Yes. Truly, truly a drag classic. And I was so uncomfortable when, when, her, when her wig slipped. Girl. First it slipped. You saw it and I was like, what? I said, I'm so uncomfortable. Ooh, I don't uh, want to be here. <laughs> I want to be in a different place. I can't even look at this right now. I will give it up though, when it hit the floor, it went into slow-mo. Oh. I was like, ooh, they did it. If this season was an Emmy, it's because of that moment. And then she grabs her head, she's like, oh. With that ugly wig cap and oh, everything, we're like, no. No, psych, bitch. Ah! Orange. <laughs> I stood up and I ran around the room. She, it that, was a hair reveal to the next level. She tricked us. She did. Raja won the lip sync and Honestly, the wig bit was a hack. I didn't think that happened. It was CGI'd in afterwards. And so it looked dumb. It was unfair. So the lip sync is over and Raja wins the lip sync. I mean. And she gets $50,000. Yay! 
Paige. I think that she is honestly the most fashionable queen who's ever been on this show, ever. And it's because she's also worked in fashion. You are the queen of she done already done had hers, hers and the winner of $50,000. And Raja, you are an absolute icon. Evie gets her constellation scepter. Any thoughts about Evie? Nope. <laughs> Got it? All right. <laughs> Do you ever work with Evie before? I, I remember I worked with her, I met her one, like literally once uh, back in the day with uh, Nina Flowers. Oh yeah, that's right. How was that experience? It was great. She was so cool. She was like the local queen there. Mm -hmm. And it was before she was on, on the race and I was just like there as like the special drag race girl. And she was so cool and I invited her in and we took all the group photos like yeah. uh, at the meet and greet afterwards with the whole cast. She was so cool and she loved my outfit and I let her like, I like gave her my jacket. She's really, really a very smart drag queen. She's such a weirdo, but I think she feels. Congratulations to Evie on being an absolutely amazing queen. Mwah. And Finally, the top two queens competing for the title of queen of all queens. Monet Exchange versus Jinx Monsoon in a lip sync smackdown battle to Swish Swish by Katherine Hudson. Katie Perry. That's Katherine Hudson. Oh. oh, that's her real name? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I'm gonna step on that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Lip syncing to Swish Swish Bitch by Katy Perry. Boom. What do you think of a lip sync? Okay, when they came out there, I was like, what? They both looked so good. Stunning. Uh, Amazing. Probably their best outfits of the season. I can't, I, gorgeous. Also, I was watching and I said, this is the top two fairly. Truly. Well deserved. Yes. Right? Absolutely. Absolutely agree. Living but in fantasies. One queen won. We finally have a winner, and her name is Jinx Monsoon. You <laughs> called it. I did call it. Jinx is a brilliant drag queen. Yep. She is an absolute consummate performer. Yep. Brilliant comedian. A writer. Singer. Singer. Dancer. Saloon actress. Honestly, and it is anyone shocked? Yes. No. I was agreeing and saying, who would be shocked about this? It's Jinx Monsoon, baby. You know, Jinx is very, very good. She. She deserves, she worked very hard this season. Yes. Jinx Monsoon, baby, our winner of the Queen of Queens. Jinx Monsoon, Queen of the Queens. Okay, so Manet did not win, but what a legacy she's leaving behind. That's our friend from years and years ago. Yes. Amazing, iconic, a freaking cool chick. All Monet's friends from the, uh, the School of Performing Arts in New York City <laughs> to Westminster College in Princeton, New Jersey. Love it. Her family in St. Lucia. Growing up in Brooklyn, there are so many people who are so proud of you, Monet Exchange. I love you, I'm proud of you, and you just did our family so proud. I love you. We love you, Monet. Thorgy, thank you so much for joining me on The Pit Stop. You are one of my favorite people, truly. I'm one of my favorite people, too. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you all for watching at home. I hope you've enjoyed this season. Um, that was The Pit Stop, that's a wrap. That's a wrap on Bob. Woo! Can we get a... Shoot, cut, cut back to footage of the thunder. I mean, when I say, because I saw that little audience y'all put last time I said no, I'm talking a stadium, an arena of people, standing ovation for me right now. Keep it going, keep it going. Give Woo! it up for Bob the Drag Bob! Queen. Bob, yes! Thank you. Get a little respect around this bitch. Oh, I just gotta grab my, my keys. I put them in. Oh, here. Bob! Yeah, you put your keys in my drink? Yeah, I put my keys in. Ew. I'll, I'll just take the whole thing. I'll take the whole thing. Oh! I'll take the whole thing. Can you get Cheers. me another glass? Cheers. I love that Raja keeps mentioning Gemini. You're a Gemini too? So Gemini. What's your birthday? May 25th. Work. Which actually is early, but I am very Gemini. It's wild that your birthday's in May, because weren't you on the Mayflower? <laughs> Was that like a joke? Well, just a fact. <sighs> I'm gonna. I'm a flower.